All right, hello everybody, and today we have a diesel Lucy flying through the screen, but today we are going to be wiring this Houghton call station. Now before we get started wiring it, let's take a closer look at it after diesel Lucy flies through the screen. You can see here, it's very small. This is one of the smallest call stations I have ever worked with. Diesel Lucy! <laughs> One of the smallest call stations that I've worked with, and this actually, I believe, came off a dumbwaiter, correct? Yes. So this came off of a dumbwaiter, and you can see it's very simple. We have the call button here. It says hot and on the bottom, and we've got this little light on the top. I must say a huge thanks to Sam Starr for donating this to the Elevate Tours Elevator Museum. Now let's go ahead and turn this thing over and take a look at the back. So if we take a look at the back, it's very simple. There's only two parts to this. We have the button and the little lamp socket. You can see the button is a Kotler hammer, from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and this was built in February of 1947. So this is a very old piece. When you press in the button, it simply presses this little disc onto these little pieces of metal, which completes the circuit. This whole board is made out of asbestos. Now this piece right here, this is the light, and this is a Dialco lamp socket. Now unfortunately, this one here does not work, but I'll go ahead and show it to you guys how, what it, what, how you can get into it. So if you unscrew the little, the little lens here, you can see there's the bulb, and we're gonna actually salvage this bulb, because it's useful. Put this lens back on, and it simply just screws on there. And these lenses were used in a, vi a lot of different things, such as like cars. Don't you see them on locomotives too? No, on, on some, yeah, actually on some of our older locomotives, and those were used in buses. It's just a standard indicator light. And, the, and what's interesting is this is a hot and call station, yet it's using all third-party parts. We also have a few other jewel lights, which we'll be testing out and showing you guys how they work, too. We've got this red one. Now, this is what the original light looked like, according to Sam. This is what the original one had. We also have this plastic green one, which we'll be taking a look at as well. We'll put those to the side, and we'll come back to those later. Because the first thing we need to do is wire this thing. So what we're going to do, Andrew has requested that I put in a small switch to turn it on for historic outdoor elevators. So we're going to be adding a small switch onto the plate. And the wiring job is going to be pretty simple. All we have to do is connect some wire, these wires together and form just a pretty simple circuit here. We can run this off of a 9 volt battery. So what we need to do is take this lamp socket off and put the new one on. We have this new one right here which does work. All right, so we have the new lamp socket on right here. So I'm actually gonna have to solder some wires. So I'm gonna solder this right into here. And I just need to solder the other end of the battery connector here, and then connect the other end to this piece right here. It'll be a simple wiring job, but then we're gonna have to add the switch, which I'll add that on afterwards. All right, guys, so we've made the little circuit here. So pretty much all it is, we have the battery box, goes through the, the switch here, so when we press down, it completes the circuit. And since it's an incandescent bulb, doesn't matter the polarity. Look at that. Let's turn the light off so you can see it a bit better. Look at that. It lights up. Awesome. All right, so there's part one finished. Let's go ahead and, we're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and Velcro this up here. All right, so part two of this wiring is Andrew wants me to have a switch so that we can bypass the button so we can have historic outdoor elevator pictures. So that's what we're gonna do with this little bitty switch right here. I'm gonna glue it, you know, about right there. So I gotta solder a couple wires to it and I'm gonna attach it to these contacts here. All right, guys, so there we go. We've added the little switch to the back. Uh, we'll see how well the hot glue works. But you can see there, there's the switch. 
When you press it in, it lights up, and when you slide the switch, it also lights up. So, now what we need to do is we're gonna look at this light with the different jewel lights that Andrew has for it. We've got the red one and the little plastic green one. So let's go ahead and switch them all out and look what it, and see what they look like with the light off. So here we have the clear green, which looks pretty awesome. And there is the solid green, which looks pretty cool. I kinda like the clear green better, but that looks pretty neat. And there we have the red light, and that's what it looked like originally. So this is a pretty cool project. Andrew, what do you think of it? Thanks, Jason, I love it. All right, well, that'll be it.